Space is the most unique laboratory for studying chemical processes and uncovering the origins of life. Hence, it holds a special place in the hearts of chemists. One of the most intriguing questions is, how does chemistry become biology? One of the projects in the Young Scientists program, organized by Blue Marble Space Institute of Science, investigated the classification of carbonaceous meteorites using machine learning based on mass spectrometry data. Carbonaceous meteorites are rich in carbon and contain a variety of organic compounds, water and other volatiles. These meteorites are some of the most primitive and ancient materials in the solar system, providing crucial insights into the early stages of planetary formation and the origins of organic matter. Now, mass spectrometry is an incredibly precise technique used to identify and analyze the components of a sample. The molecules are turned into charged particles of unique masses, often fragmented, and then detected to give some information about the compound's structure. To make sense of the gathered data and to classify the meteorite samples, the following workflow has been put in place. Different types of plots help to interpret and analyze the data, so let's start with the classic mass spectrum. The detected species appear in the resulting spectrum as peaks at particular mass to charge ratio on the x-axis and their relative abundance, i.e. intensity, on the y-axis. Plotting the number of specific atoms against the mass to charge ratio provides a detailed view of how these elements are distributed across different molecular species in a sample. A double bond equivalent, DBE for short, versus number of carbon atoms plots help to visualize the relationship between the degree of unsaturation in a molecule and its size. DBE is zero for fully saturated hydrocarbons, such as alkynes, and increases as the molecule becomes more unsaturated, for example, alkenes or aromatics. A horizontal trend might suggest a series of molecules that are structurally similar but differ in chain length. Clusters of points on the plot can represent specific classes of compounds. Kendrick mass defect plots can simplify the interpretation of complex organic mixtures composed of homologous series of compounds. Typically, it is used to identify and group molecules that differ by CH2 units. Van Crevelin plots are used to assess the chemical composition by comparing elemental ratios. The oxygen to carbon ratio is plotted on x-axis and indicates the degree of oxidation of the organic material. The hydrogen to carbon ratio on the y-axis gives information about the degree of saturation. It is possible to extend the traditional van Crevelin plots into the third dimension by adding a third axis, typically representing another elemental ratio, such as nitrogen to carbon or sulfur to carbon. Mass difference network plots are graphical representations where the nodes represent individual mass spectral peaks corresponding to molecular ions and edges represent specific mass differences between these peaks. Those plots reveal the relationships between different molecular species based on their mass differences, which in turn correspond to various chemical transformations, such as methylation, carboxylation, hydration, and many more. Then, to classify the samples and identify the distinguishing factors, principal component analysis, PCA for short, was used. PCA is a powerful technique which reduces the dimensionality of data by transforming it into a new set of variables called principal components, PCs, which capture most of the variance in data. Here, three samples have been clustered together and the rest were grouped in another cluster. Further subclustering of that group could reveal distinctive features and help in better classification. To further investigate the differences between the samples, Tanimoto similarity was implemented. Here, it was used to compare the binary vectors where 1 means the presence of a species at a given m to z ratio and 0 its absence. The Tanimoto score, also known as Jacquard score, was calculated between the vectors for every pair in the dataset and shown as a heat map. Summarizing, the integration of space research, chemistry, and computational methods underscores the profound benefits of interdisciplinary approaches in modern science. By using diverse techniques and sharing different perspectives, researchers can address complex questions about the fundamental processes of chemistry and life. This holistic approach not only enriches our scientific knowledge, but also paves the way for future discoveries and technological advancements.